my name is Barry Tickus. I work here at the University of Arizona Yuma Agriculture Center with weed control and general agronomics. This project was conducted by the Applied Weed Science class and we thought it would be useful to, to many of you as well to uh, go through each of our uh, plots here and describe uh, how the, these herbicides work and what we did was we chose seven modes of action, seven mode, main modes of action um, and we've uh, planted four different crops and sprayed over the, a couple different rates of uh, herbicides in each of these modes of action to induce the symptoms to help us better understand how these things work. Okay, now we're standing in the cell membrane disruptors. Um, this particular herbicide was Goal. Other herbicides that use this mode of action are things like AIM, uh, Paraquat or Gramoxone, Chateau, um, uh, ET. Uh, these, uh, a lot of the new chemistry uh, that we're seeing in recent years have been these, um, these uh, cell membrane disruptors. Uh, many of them are uh, PTO inhibitors, and what they do is they uh, cause, uh, they rupture cell membranes uh, on the leaves where they contact the plant. Um, they're not systemic, um, or very little systemic activity. They mainly work almost like a contact herbicide where the, the uh, 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 leaf surface that is contacted and uh, within a very short time, maybe 12 to 24 hours, you initially see a dark green water-soaked appearance where the cell membranes have been uh, destroyed and you get a, a leaking of intercellular fluids. Uh, and that progresses very quickly to a necrotic look to the plant. If you contact enough of the plant, it will kill it. Um, if the plant still has some vigor, it'll often recover because these are not systemic herbicides. Um, you'll see symptoms within 12 hours in general, and what they normally look like, here's a uh, bean plant that it shows very typical symptoms of gall, where you can see, uh, uh, oftentimes you'll see spots. In this case, the whole leaf is necrotic, and uh, you, uh, initially you get a water-soaked appearance and then necrosis and this likely is going to die. However, it's not systemic and you can see new growth coming out here in the middle. Oftentimes, if the, they haven't damaged the plant enough, it, it can recover and your symptoms will only be temporary. Um, there are, with, at high rates, you can see some soil activity from these herbicides where you're creating a barrier on the surface and when the weeds germinate and uh, pro poke through the surface, they'll pick up the herbicide and it will uh, kill them in that manner. Most of these herbicides, however, are used as a post-emergence application. The next category we're gonna move over to is uh, our, our herbicide is PREFAR, and uh, um, these, this is going to be the mitotic inhibitors.